Congress opening statements. It's uh, the second senior day, but uh, you know, the uh, motion to appeal this is kept in. Sure. Yeah, I think you said this is my uh, second senior day, but you know, getting a win is always the same. It's just, just the best feeling that you can uh, experience, particularly uh, with this group of guys. Um, like Coach Bloom said, we've had seniors that have been here for six years um, and some that have been here for six months. And I'm one of the six months guys, but um, we really formed a brotherhood in that time. And um, to see the way that everyone's fought without giving up throughout this entire season with one goal in mind, that's the win. Um, it's, it's been pretty awesome and it makes today even more special. And then um, talking about the game a little bit, uh, very similar to uh, the Middle Tennessee game. Came out hot in the first half. Um, obviously, the defense gave us some great field. Same with special teams. Had a short field off the punt return. Um, we shot to Trey Sean early in the game, giving us uh, the opportunity to go put some points on the board. Um, but like you said, um, two minute was a little rough, and that was mostly on me. Just missed a few throws. Um, in the second half, we just got to find a way to play better in situational football. Um, I think our third downs weren't quite as good as we would wanted today in terms of the execution and the. Um, just our ball percentage of leading that. And, um, but at the end of the day, we found a way to win. Um, Got to give a big shout out to Roz. Um, and when the game's on the line, we knew we were going to get a one-on-one. -on -one, and the, you know, the entire game, they kind of made the adjustment from Middle Tennessee watching that tape that they were going to play an outside end. So if you watch Middle Tennessee, they were giving them like pretty much a one-way go. Uh, so we want to throw a go ball. Just take it outside. But it's a lot easier. They, uh, they gave them the inside, which is not ideal. But um, just gave him a chance, and he found a way to make a play when it mattered the most. Um, four minutes kept going, and then what better way than Deshaun Ellerby, fifth-year senior, to uh, put the game on ice that first down, which is just awesome. Awesome team win, and uh, I mean the defense played heroically, especially there at the end. Just continued to cover up for you know some of the mistakes that we made and some of the other mistakes, and it was just an unbelievable team win. Was your first senior day that Yale game last week? Uh, no, Columbia. So that was because I was at Fenway. So I think that last game was the last game at Harvard Stadium. Okay. Columbia, Columbia. Yeah. Gotcha. Can you talk a little bit more about this idea of, um, like you said, we saw Charlie score today. You, know, you had a really good first half. Talk a little bit about this, this last six months and this process of molding into this team. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's never easy just coming together and. <laughs> You know, we didn't have the benefit of having a spring ball because you get so many practices and you get so much time to really get in there and learn. We had camp, but it showed up, I mean, a little bit throughout the season. We've been so close, so close, so close. And then, you know, as we get better and as we learn and as we grow and grow and grow, like, you're seeing a better product and it's not even nearly as good as it can be, which is really exciting, really, you know, makes me optimistic for this program moving forward. Two weeks in a row, you've beaten a team, given them their seventh loss of the season to make sure they won't go to a bowl game. Does that make you feel a little, a little better? Yeah, sure. Why not? We're not going to bowling. Why should they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Last week, the uh, ball got taken out of your hands on, on third, third and long, and you watched Ashton go rip the big one off. This time, the coaches called your number. Uh, what was going through your head when you had that shot and made that connection? Yeah, I mean, just what we practiced all week, and I had total confidence in Roz, um, and I really believe that all the coaches um, on the offensive side have confidence in really anyone that would be out there at any given time to make a play, and that's been really cool to see. And like you said, Aston last week pretty much put the game on ice. I mean, it wasn't quite what we had to, you know, today, but it's, it's pretty cool, and that kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier about everyone kind of gelling and this team really coming together. Uh, we've been attacking downfield a lot the last two games, uh, Trammell and Roz. And, uh, have you just felt anything just click this season or any rhythm that you entered in these last two games that's just continuing through the end of the year? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. It's just being able to build the confidence in those guys, find the timing, and they're awesome players. I mean, they, they can really clean up for a lot of my you know, mistakes and you know, I'm not going to throw. They can, they can really help me out. Rod, you just put it anywhere in it seems, and he'll go up and make a rebound. He's playing basketball, so it makes my job a lot easier. And what's that energy at the end of the game? I saw belts in the air. I saw the crowd getting into it. Just what's that feeling uh, having your first winning experience in Houston? Is it right now? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, especially to have the entire team here. I was obviously on the road last week. Um, and very, very cool for it to be our last game here. Obviously, we would have probably liked to got a few more in our time, but. 
it's a pretty cool way to, to leave this place. You know, your first start was against Texas. How do you think you'd do against them today? I mean, I don't necessarily think that's like a me centric question. I mean, I think that our team is just, our offensive football team has gotten so much better. And uh, we're so much better at our assignments. Um, and we really, we really figured out a way to play with each other um, in a way that's like we've been playing together for two, three, four years. Um, the, we got to sell that on the field. I don't know. Anything else? Yeah, piggybacking off of that last question, senior day, like you said, you have everyone here now, second straight win. Um, how did the locker room just feel different? And just how, how great has it been in the locker room um, the last two games before the rest of the day? Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. Um, with us, when we, you know, when we came off the Marshall game, every, the season starts to get long, you know, but got to give it credit to every single guy in the locker room. No one ever quit, came to work every day. And uh, you know, two-game winning streak, and that uh, makes makes everything a lot easier, life a lot better.